Hey y'all, N4H and H here, and Ham Clock version 4.07 is available now. You'll see there the list of improvements that are made. I'm going to go ahead and let it let the timer run a little bit. I'm starting it fresh, and it's automatically detected the update. For those of you who had yours running already, your current version number 4.06 will have illuminated red. That indicates that you should click it, click the red version number, and it will automatically update. You can see the list. There are a lot of things that were corrected. One of the things that happened was, oh, well, I didn't click the red, so I didn't do the update. You'll see it. Let me zoom in. And apparently it's been happening for a couple of weeks, but I noticed it uh, starting on Friday, I believe it was, that the DX cluster would just cut out and tell you that you had tried to log in more than 10 times in an hour, and it won't let you log in more than 10 times in an hour. And I've shown in previous videos in this series, uh, if you haven't watched the entire series, I would encourage you to because any questions you may have have probably already answered. You know, the issue was with the DX cluster, which you see there in the middle pane, you can assign these to anything. I've covered that in another video, so I won't go into it now. You assign th this pane here to be DX cluster. You can put any it, anywhere, but that's where I do it. And if that tries to log in more than 10 times from the same call sign, it'll lock you out for, for an hour, I believe. One of the ways you can now let you might say, well, I've got more than one ham clock running, one showing this map and the other one showing that map. Well, what you have to do is when you put in your call sign in the area, and I've shown this in previous videos, so I'm not going to go into it here, but you put in your call sign um, and then you put in like dash zero one or dash zero two or dash one, dash two just to make it a little bit different on each unit because otherwise you'll be logging in twice with the same exact call sign and that's two logins toward the 10 that you're allowed for an hour right but we weren't doing that this this is the error message we were getting but it was actually something to do with the ham clock itself so version 4.07 is available and the reason i know that let me zoom in You see right there where it says 4.06 is lit up red. That means there's a new version available. I'm going to click it. And it says new version 4.07 is available. And it started that timer again. Uh, so you can see there the list of items, uh, fixes. And somewhere in there... Uh, allow selecting several max DX cluster spot ages. That was a request of mine uh, because you'd get like 400 spots shown on the display on the map and then you couldn't really decipher one from the other. They were just all over the all over the top and I wanted to be able to trim that down to just maybe the last few. Looks like they're going to be do it by age which means some time limit. We'll find out when we boot up. Automatically track daylight savings time. That's a nice addition. Okay. And I didn't do it again. It timed out while I'm reading, you know. So let me click it again. All right. And I'm going to have to drag down here to see more. Boy, there's a lot of changes. Uh, so I invite you to just scroll down the list. You may have to take screenshots. And uh, to read all of that. Well, it looks like the timer starts over. If you look at the very top right, the timer starts over every time you click. Let me show you where I'm clicking. See the sidebar over here? Arrows. So you can go up and down to read this. A DX cluster connection could loop after disconnection. That may be the one that has been causing the issue with it uh, throwing that error code. All right, this time I'm going to go ahead and say yes and let it update. I'm going to show you this in real time so you can see about how long it takes. Plus, I want to uh, get back in there and see how they changed that timing for the spots. So while that's doing it, uh, uh, let me reiterate. So you can see the call signs of people who have posted to the DX cluster on the map. And you can even turn it on. I have it set where the, it'll draw thin lines from the person who posted the spot to where the station is, the DX station. And 
when you've got 400, 450, 420, 375, whatever spots showing on the map, then you really can't discern hardly any of them because they're all stacked on top of one another. And I don't necessarily want to see spots that are 20 or 30 minutes old. You know, that's, that's going to be a lot. Potentially, again, getting up into the hundreds. So we'll see what kind of a limit they put in here. If you played with it recently, you got, even in the DX cluster, you've got some arrows you can click up and down to work your way down that list which you're which is being shown all over the map but it just got to be to me unmanageable it is cool from the way that read where it said age that tells me it's going to be done by time i was actually hoping we could do it by hey show me the last 20 show me the last 25 something like that and um it looks like it's going to be done by time you know how many in the last so many minutes but that may be manageable. That may work. We'll see. Pretty big update. Just judging by the time. Now you're looking at the monitor. The actual unit that I'm running here is an Innovato Quadra, which is actually, let me move the camera and show you. It's actually on that screen there. And if you've seen all my previous videos, you know that the unit itself is right back there. Okay, there, I'm zoomed in on it. There it is, the Innovator Quadris, a little bitty box. And because it's on my network, okay, and there it's, it's finished and updating. Because it's on my network, get back over here to the other one. I can actually see it on this monitor using a URL. I'll show you what it is. If you look way up there at the top, innovato.local colon 8081 slash live.html hope you see that all right so that's allowing me to show it over here on the on my actual the monitor for my other computer the one a lot the computer i log with all right so let's see here there's the dx cluster showing 28 so far let me i'll zoom in just to the dx cluster okay you see that now it's at 29 now you see there's the map see all the lines so you can see already what i mean look right here in the united states it's getting all cluttered up with call signs and that's just 30. this list here is showing up on the map here and again the line is telling you where where like for example this station here 7 q 4 a.m Okay, that's the DX station. That line is showing you where they were spotted from, the person who spotted them, where they were. Notice over here the uh, version shows right up above the date there. The version is showing well, right up above where it says UTC here. It says 4.07. Okay, I'm going to long left click. I'm left clicking my mouse over that lock. And let go. And then I'm going to say restart ham clock. Okay. Click anywhere to enter setup. I'm going to go into setup. And usually it is going to be page five, five. Here we go. All right, so let's see. I've got mine set for top down. That means the newest spots come in the top. Default, they come in the bottom. That was a request I had, and thank you uh, for doing that, Elwood. Uh, Elwood is the name of the man who writes ham clock. And let's see, max DX age. Okay, so here it is. So I'm gonna see what my options are. 10 minutes, 20, 40, 60. Okay, so there's the choices. That's the new feature that I was asking for, although I was gonna do it in number of spots, but they've done it in minutes. So I'm gonna set it for 10. That means my DX cluster will not show any spots that are older than 10 minutes. Let's click done. Let it start up. So I would encourage you, if, you, if you're just now seeing one of my ham clock videos for the first time, there's a, a series of ham clock videos posted on my YouTube channel in um, I, pretty much in order that I created them and, and published them. And they are in a playlist. I've got 60-something playlists. They're in a playlist called 
radio wave propagation because this that's what ham clock's all about is you can check propagation you know the voa cap over here if i click on somebody in this list here like here we'll do this yb0ar 14327 and voa cap is predicting what are my chances of working that station well there, there's 20 meter band right there and there's a black box for this hour that means i'm not going to be able to work him yellow means that i've got between a a 33 and 66 percent chance of working him and that'll be the next hour coming up green means i've got greater than a 66 percent chance of working him or her whichever the case may be so if i wait an hour or two i'm going to get into a, a range where i could possibly work that station if they're still on so that's what voa cap's doing that's a great tool and I found it to be pretty accurate. In fact, I recently put out a video about how accurate it is. I mean, 100% no. I mean, I've still actually worked a station one time when it was in the black, but it was, I barely got them. It was a DX, uh, DXpedition station. But there you have it, version 4.07 of the ham clock. A lot of bug fixes apparently and some new features like the ability now to control how many you see in the cluster. See, it's at 42 right now. I mean, you can see the screen is still pretty clogged up, but remember they added this Zoom feature. I, had, I asked for it, and then they said, no, there's no way, it's too complicated. And then the next thing you know, look at this. I'm gonna zoom three times. I just left click my mouse over America, clicking OK, and give it a set, second here. It's, it's gonna have to redraw the map. I kind of set it and forget it. Okay, so now see, I want to look closer up here to America, so I'm going to click my mouse. See, I'm moving my mouse up, up here, maybe around Texas. And then I'm going to do a recenter. All right, so see, now the call signs are more spread out. It's, it's I still, I've got 51 on the screen now. See, it's telling you over here to the right of their call sign how old that post is. I mean, look, this, people are... There's a lot of spots going out today. It's a busy Sunday afternoon. So it's up to 58 now being shown. But using the zoom, I'm at least able to get into an area and separate out some of these, you know, so I can see them. So let's say I wanted to work in 6 a.m. What are my chances? I'm going. He's soda. I'm going, so I'm going to, and I just kind of know that because I've worked him a lot. I'm going to click over here on the down arrow. It's showing eight for soda. And now another... To, there he is right there, in 6 a.m. So I'm going to click on his spot, and you'll see a green dot appear. Let me let me go down to, yeah, I didn't have it zoomed in, but let me show you where you guys see the green dot. See, in 6 a.m., I want to see what are my chances of working him. He's on the 10-meter band. My chances of working him, 10 meters, green. So I've got, let me pan back up there so you can see. The VOA cap is telling me, Voice of America coverage analysis program is telling me that I've got a green for 10 meters right now. I got a green for 10 meters for the next one, two, three, four, five, six hours to that area, Southern California. All right, so I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thank you for watching videos on my channel. Please hang around for a, a little more than a half a minute. I want to acknowledge five of the Patreon team members who I call long haulers. Without them, you wouldn't have seen this video or hundreds of others. Thanks a lot, and 73 from N4 H&H. &H.